Oh wow, look at those cars. We're gonna go see how those cars are. Look at these interesting cars, guys. But the main ones, uh, by the way, sorry for the noise, if anything. The main ones that I'm really interested in are these three Volkswagens. Legendary cars, even that one, that's a Volkswagen Golf right there, the 90s legend. And these are late 60s, early 70s Volkswagen Bugs, Beetles, and they're made for Japanese market. They're right-hand drive. Really cool. They've been here for a while for sure. You know, they need some love here and there. And both of them are actually stick shift. So that's really cool. As you can see, there's still a lot of them in the United States, you can see, but also Japan has quite a few as well. So that is really cool. Uh, really amazing cars. That one is beige. This one is black. And obviously they're going to need to work. By the way, if a lot of you didn't know, they're uh, drum brakes. They have drum brakes all the way around. Uh, this interior is actually pretty interesting. I mean, some of it is taken apart. Obviously the wooden steering wheel because, you know, Japanese people love the wooden steering wheels. So not without that. And this is a really interesting car. This is a Volkswagen Golf, the 90s legend. <laughs> it has a really interesting, look, BMW wheels on it. BMW E30 wheels with the four lug bolts. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. It's a right-hand drive, some batteries inside and everything. Really interesting car. Really cool. I wonder how many miles it has. I don't think it has a lot of miles. Um, so, yeah, I don't know any history about these cars that are just sitting here. You know, they may maybe somebody's cars or maybe somebody was selling them at some point. I really don't know. But this Volkswagen Golf looks in a really nice shape, unmolested pretty much. And it's a Golf. Oh, it's actually a diesel one, too. So that's really cool. It's a Golf diesel. Yeah, I've never really seen diesel ones in the United States like that. So that's a really nice car. Yeah, uh, you don't see a lot of these cars, especially in Japan. So really really nice example if i was living here i'll definitely find out more information and probably uh you know get this car running but like i said uh, it's these cars are probably the people's cars who live here um so you know and it seems like they're uh taking taking care of like most of them like those ones are in pretty good shape right there they're in pretty good shape and these ones are just probably their projects and that one's probably it probably runs and drives as well you know the tires are not really flat i mean you can tell that they're you know it's not been here for a long time but maybe these volkswagen bugs were but long story short let me show you the back of this uh bug it's really cool it's got those big nice chrome bumpers heavy duty ones that's how they're supposed to make cars they're supposed to make cars from metal not from plastics and all the bs this is a real, real car, a real men's car. Really cool classic machine. I really love seeing these cars. And there's some more of this Volkswagen Golf for you guys. Right there, really interesting. It's a stick shift as well. Stick shift diesel, I mean, this is this is awesome. This is like, if this was in the United States, I would have bought this car like, like right away because we all know how much we love diesels. And there's a lot of diesel Jetta, uh, diesel Jettas in, you know, United States and people just go crazy about those cars. Those cars are a million, you know, they have million mile engines. And just uh, was uh, while I was filming these cars, look at this BMW E36 or E46 right there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Is that like from the 50s? Uh, so these are late 60s, early 70s uh, cars. Yeah, that one, the silver one is, uh, was made in the 90s. Yeah, I so. Don't know pretty cool and the thing is that that one is a diesel with a stick shift you don't see the ones like that in the united states that are diesel yeah the jetta that uh we have a lot of jettas that are diesel and they're like million mile cars all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed these amazing cars we're gonna go and continue our journey
So we just finished exploring a couple places. Uh, it's about to get dark, but we've been having great time in Japan. You know, we try to explore places when we can and cars as well. So it's a lot of fun, a lot of good food as well. So yeah, we're just, uh, we're really full at the moment. We just finished some amazing Japanese food. So that was really awesome. And yeah, we're just exploring around looking for some cool cars to show you guys. So. All right, guys, I want to show you something really cool. And what do we have in here? We have a really, really cool car. We have a wagon, S203 wagon. Sweet car. Just needs a little bit of love, but look at those brakes, the big brakes. It's been sitting for a little bit, but sweet car c230 so there's a possibility that maybe they're just storing it here for winter and they're not driving it during winter time but right now it's springtime so it's probably going to be driving soon but as you can see really sweet nice car really like these as well the s203s uh so we do have these in the united states as well uh, they're not as popular in the united states as the 203 sedans for example but these are still really cool but like i said just needs a little bit of love you know i wish i could meet the owner and talk to them maybe they need some help but who knows i'm pretty sure this car is doing just fine the interior is actually really nice in it i'll show it to you in a second but there you guys have it a really amazing machine this is gonna be a classic Benz very soon. It's basically, you know, I don't know what year is it they made them until 2007, I believe. So, this is probably a pre facelift model. So, but really cool right hand drive. Really cool car. Beautiful black leather. Amazing, amazing machine. Yeah. But anyways, look look at this, guys. Look at this cool stuff. So this reminds me of Tokyo when I was there two years ago. Um, literally like narrow streets, but uh, you can see a lot of different houses and everything. It's pretty peaceful for the most part. It's really nice, except for birds chirping. And that's it. Really interesting stuff, guys. Uh, and still, honestly saying, I, I cannot get used to uh, the right-hand drive here in Japan. It's just, <laughs> it's really, I don't know why, who, you know, came up with that, but it's kind of crazy, you know. Um, anyways, but as you can see right here, there's some gardening going on. There's also a lot of farms here and people have been working. Um, really interesting stuff. I really love it. So I guess Japan is trying to be unique and there is a Scotty Kilmer's a Toyota Celica, the most reliable Toyota Celica in the world. Scotty Kilmer, hello. <laughs> buy a Celica, sell everything else, just buy my 1994 Toyota Celica. <laughs> if you live here, imagine parking your big pickup truck in here. It just won't fit. And the thing is that like a lot of the driveways are like that here in Japan. There's some more vintage houses here. Pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys live somewhere here in Japan or if you ever end up being here and living, you know, I don't live here, but if you guys ever end up coming here, don't be surprised, you know, a lot of their driveways are small and their cars are small too, so. Well, the only thing I like about this car is those hubcaps. The hubcaps are fire. Don't you think so, guys? Super nice. Audi wagon. I still do love and appreciate the wagons. Crazy Audi with that tight engine bay. Looks nice. Ah, look at those beautiful flowers. And look at those mountains in the, uh, in the background. Look at that Toyota van right there. That's crazy. There's some nice things you see here too. Yeah, the 
So the next morning we're driving to see our friend in our Mercedes and explore some more cool places of Japan. And look at those mountains. You can still see snow all the way up there. That's cool.